Hello everyone. Welcome to the SharePoint Online tutorial. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will learn about the SharePoint Online Planner web part. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see what is SharePoint Online Planner web part. Next we will see how we can add and edit the planner web part in our modern SharePoint site page and also we will see how we can configure the planner web part in, in our modern SharePoint site page. So what is planner web part? The planner web part allows us to create plans and organize as well as we can assign team tasks for the different users in our SharePoint site. We can also set priorities and status of the task like completed, not started and in progress. We can for each task we can assign the status so that the user will be able to check the updates of the particular task. So we use the planner web part to easily track out the task status for the assigned member. And the planner web part is available only on the group connector team site. It is not available in the communication site as well as the SharePoint Server 2019 version. So when we create a new plan in our SharePoint site page, this is how it looks like. Now I will show you how to create the new plan and what are the different ways that we can create and assign the plan for the SharePoint site members. So initially log in to the Microsoft Office Home and open the SharePoint application. Select the team site page because the in communication site page, the planner web part is not available. So select the team site page. Once the site page has been opened, expand the new option and click on the plan option to create the new plan and enter the plan name and click on the create option. Here you can see the plan has been created. Now click on the add task to assign the new task and enter the task name. If you want to assign for the selected user, you can click and assign or enter their username here. Here you can see I have assigned to that selected user. And if you want to set due date, click on the due date option and set the due date like this. This is how we can add or create a new plan and add task to it. If you want to add more tasks, then click on add task again and repeat the same thing. You can see the task has been added here. If you want to add new bucket, here you can select and add the new bucket by entering the bucket name. Here you can see the new bucket has been added. Now I will show you how to add these tasks into the planner web part in modern SharePoint site page. For that, select the home button, refresh the page once, click on the edit icon and choose the section layout here. In this, I am going to choose on column section and search for the planner web part here and choose the planner option. You can see by default, it, it is taking the existing plan and displaying it in the planner web part. You can add title here and you can choose the plan that we have created already. In this example, I have created as a task. So I'm going to choose as the task plan. Once the existing plan has been selected, you can see the created plan has been displaying under the to do bucket item. So click on the republish icon. Here you can see in the modern SharePoint site page, the planner web part has been added. If you want to edit the task that has been assigned, so in that case, select the assigned task and here you can add label as and if you want to change the status like completed or in progress, you can change it like this. If you want to change the priority as important, you can. These are the options that are present. So if I want to move the bucket list, if I want to choose the completed task bucket list and if I want to change the status as completed you can see once i click on the edit icon here you can see the completed task has been added if you want to change any progress here here you can change and here also we can choose the bucket list as per our progress and we also can change our label like this and if you want to add any notes we can add it here if you want to select the start date here we can choose the start date and if you want to add any attachments over here we can add if you want to add this item to the checklist we can select this check icon and if you want to add any comment we can type the message here and click on the send option here you can see the progress has been changed as in progress and the label also has been changed as pink in the same way we can 
also edit the patch function like this i am going to mark it as completed and add it into the bucket list called completed task so i am choosing the bucket as completed task and the progress is completed here here you can see under the completed task bucket the completed task has been added and in addition there are two more options that are presented here if you want to filter it we can also filter by these keywords like today tomorrow this week we can use these keyword if you want to filter it based on the label we can choose the label here if i am going to choose the label as purple here you can see the pink label has been hidden if i am going to choose the label as pink here you can see the pink label is also shown if you want to remove purple then we can also click on the purple icon so that the check icon will will be disabled and it will show only the filter item label called pink this is how we can filter the task that is assigned in the planner web app and also we can group by the values based on the bucket items or assigned to that user or based on the progress here you can see under in progress it is showing the in progress task and we also we can choose the label and based on priority also we can filter the value in this example i will remove the pink label so that here you can see the priority list is showing as important it groups the task and displays the value under the important category so this is how we can add and configure the planned task into a planner web part in modern sharepoint site page and this is how we can change the task status priority and also the labels in addition we can also filter the task and group by and check the task accordingly now i will show you what are the different ways that we can display the planner web part task details for that click on the edit icon and edit the planner web part here you can see by default it displays on the board mode which means by default it is displaying in the board option like this there are different options that are presented here you can see it can also display in the chart option like this and also we can choose the status chart like this here one task left out and what are the completed task we can easily track out this status here based on the member chart we can display the planner chart and bucket chart based on bucket items it it displays the planner web chart and based on the priority also it displays the planner web chart so now in this example i am going to display it as a status chart once the display mode has been selected click on the republish icon so that the changes will be saved into our modern sharepoint site page here you can see the planner web chart displays the data in the status so this is how we can use the planner web chart easily track out the status for the assigned task so with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned what is planner web chart how we can add and edit the plans and how we can configure the created plan into our planner web chart thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and please do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you